So hello and uh, welcome to whoever is watching, uh, faculty, other students, uh, whoever you may be. Uh, I'm Harrison Orr uh, and I'm a student in the ELPA program. Uh, for those who have had the pleasure of interacting with this past summer, uh, welcome back. I look forward to continuing the discussion into this semester. Uh, really enjoyed the summer classes, so good to be back. A um, little about me, I uh, currently live in Silva, North Carolina. Uh, if there's anyone who's watching who's familiar with uh, Western Carolina University, that's basically right next to that, WCU's in Cullowee and Silva borders Cullowee. Um, I'm originally from Franklin, North Carolina, which is about 30 minutes from here. I uh, grew up there and moved a couple years ago for work, so um, that's how I ended up here. Um, speaking of work, you can tell uh, I'm in my office here. I uh, work at Southwestern Community College in Silva. I uh, started working here in the spring of 2013, uh, really doing a wide variety of things. I, I teach um, mainly for the electronics engineering and computer engineering technology programs. Uh, which is kind of my bread and butter. Um, I also teach some classes for some other programs, um, telecommunications and networking, uh, computer information systems, mechatronics engineering, HVAC, um, basically anything that has to do with electronics or computers, uh, I probably have a hand in it at some point. Um, I guess what I'm best known for is doing the communications classes for the electronics engineering program. Uh, we're one of the few programs in the state that offers advanced classes in communications. Um, and when I say communication, I mean electronic communications, not, you know, verbal public speaking, because uh, I definitely would not be the instructor for that. But, uh, uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, communication is really what I focused my uh, studies on uh, when I was doing my undergrad and my graduate work. Um, but uh, I teach other things as well. I teach some computer literacy classes for the CIS department here on campus and uh, do an operating systems class for computer engineering, which I really love doing. Um, and I do some electronics classes for HVAC. So uh, like I said, wide variety of things, but all basically tied to electronics and computers. I started work here uh, while I was working on my undergrad. Um, I originally went here at Southwestern and got a associate degree in electronics engineering in 2011. I uh, went to Western and got my bachelor's in electrical and computer engineering technology uh, in 2014 and then started the master's program that fall and completed it this spring. Uh, got a master of science and technology from WCU and then a uh, week after that started this program. So uh, really just been a student full time for uh, quite a while now and uh, I guess got a couple more years left to go. Um, so really through teaching, I really had the opportunity to experience um, kind of behind the scenes how programs are run and the decisions that are involved. And so uh, I really decided to shift my focus from teaching to administration. Um, I would love to work in administration for an engineering technology program, hopefully one day. Uh, it's definitely, definitely a goal of mine. Um, that's why I would like to get out of this degree and I'm pretty sure I'll be able to accomplish that. So. Um, I'm sure a question you probably have is, you know, if I'm, I'm down here in North Carolina, how in the world I ended up at ETSU? Uh, I always enjoyed the area. Uh, I come up there quite a bit. Been been coming up there since I was a little kid, uh, going to the races at Bristol. So uh, I really fell in love with the area. Lo loved doing that. Going to Bristol, I was there this past weekend uh, sitting in the rain along with, uh, you know, a few thousand other people. But I'll be there for the uh, football games coming up. Um, that ETSU WCU game is going to be a little interesting because you know, student at one and graduate at the other. But uh, I, I'll be pulling for the Bucks. I promise. Uh, but anyway, yeah, my uh, my girlfriend lives about an hour from from uh, Johnson City, and so we go up there quite a bit. Go up there on the weekends and uh, you know walk the linear trail in Irwin, which is beautiful by the way. If you've never done that, you probably should. Um, go eat some barbecue at Ridgewood. It's amazing. You need to go there if you haven't. Um, so just fun recreation stuff. Um, so I spend a lot of time in Johnson City area uh, when I have some free time, which kind of few and far between here. But I really wanted to go to ETSU for my undergrad, but uh, didn't didn't want to give up the job I had down here in Silva. So uh, doing the online classes was really the the best of both worlds there. Uh, anyway, uh, when I have some free time, which uh, like I said is kind of rare, but. Uh, I enjoy doing electronics uh, projects, building things. Uh, I really like building computers. I, I build a number of computers and 
really have fun doing that. So uh, it, I think it's safe to say I enjoy electronics. So I uh, definitely have a passion for it. But um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much me in a nutshell. Um, really excited to be part of this program. Like I said, I had a great experience uh, over the summer uh, getting started in the program and and uh, doing our courses, the law class and the professional writing class, and, and really enjoyed that and had a good experience. And I enjoyed uh, interacting with all of you on the discussion boards and, and of the like. So I uh, look forward to doing that. We'll probably have some group work this, this fall. So I look forward to getting to know you on a more personal level. And I also look forward to watching your videos and putting some faces with names and um, the little pictures there on, on D2L are, are a little small, so now we can kind of get to see each other on a personal level, uh, for better or worse, I guess. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, like I said, really enjoyed interacting with you guys and, and look forward to doing that again. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Appreciate it.